Hello guys, in this video let's talk about how to make how to do the mate mating of the wing section to the belly section that we made earlier in the previous video. So as you can see you can see a little bit of filleting over there and the whole mating is in a in 3D and I have to tell you that in this in this model that I've made the mating that I did was a little bit complex and I don't think that's the right way to do it and I just found out a easier way to do it so we'll be talking about the easy way not the way I used dot not the method I used to do the mating in this model so let's talk about how to do the mating in this part so so at first I have already made the wing and already made the fuselage with the belly fairing on it so at first we have to do a little bit of mental calculations on here because uh, we're gonna do two different things at first so at first we need a we need to make a loft onto the belly fairing of the aircraft and we have to mate the wing onto the loft that we made on the belly fairing but to make the loft we are going to use the wing section to get the references and the sketches for the loft so at first we have to get the sketches and the the sketches and profiles for the loft that we have to make so we'll start with the wing so at first we'll just start with the sketch on there and to get this profile we have to just uh, convert entities and we got the f first sketch and the next thing is that we're gonna build the loft inside the uh, towards the inside of the fuselage and we're not gonna protrude it out of the fuselage belly section so the reference we have to make a reference plane to the other side not not to the outside of the bellies uh, to the inside of the belly so this section this whole wing section is going to be outside the belly section so we're going to make the loft inside and hence we have to do the reference geometry towards the inside so we're going to use this whole plane as a reference and say we're going to put a reference plane about a thousand millimeters that, that'll be good we'll just put a plane over there and the next thing that we have to do is make a reference line to uh, to, uh, to give a guide for the new new sketch that we are going to make and to do that we will do we will do a sketch on the top plane and I'll show you what kind of reference I mean so you can see that the wing is coming to an end at this section in an angle not it's not 90 degrees it's coming to an angle so we have to use that line as a reference when we do the loft so the loft is going to be tapered outwards instead of being a, a, a single block of the wings profile so what we're going to do is we're going to use convert entities and we get the line and we're going to extend that line outwards and make sure that it cro it crosses it, it, it intersects with the uh, with the reference plane that we made earlier so to make that perfectly land just tangent and there we go we have that already over there so make sure that it intersects with this line here and also we know that this plane is thousand thousand millimeters away from this plane so we can do a little bit of trimming there so take center line thousand millimeters there and then again go down a thousand millimeters so we know exactly where it coincides there so we can just trim it out and also make this a construction line because we don't want that it's just a reference and you can just delete this line over there so we know where the wing and the loft section sh should start from and we don't need that either so exit the sketch 
and let's do another sketch on on the wing section I mean on the new reference plane that we made so start a new sketch and we're gonna use pretty much the same profile but a little bit extended the reason why I'm using the same profile is that we don't need any crooked curves like what we have here you can see that the wing is going drooping down and just uh, having a small dip on there and we don't need that in our loft so the best way to do is is to use the same profile and extend it a little bit more now we're going to do the sketch so I'm basically going to use this as a, a reference I'm just going to use the convert entities so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole section and move it towards the front so as you can see here I have already made the sketch and uh, we we had uh, we had taken this uh, sketch as a reference that we see behind so what I've done is I have I've shifted this whole section this whole section to the front and I've shifted it to the point where the the reference sketch that we made earlier where this sketch ends so right over there so so that we we have that continuity in the slope or that curvature of the wing towards the end of this loft all the other areas are pretty much the same nothing has changed and there's one more thing that we have to take into account as you can see here if we extrude this sketch just like this it's it's gonna be it's gonna be straight out and it's not gonna follow the curve of the wing so what we have to do is we have to drag this sketch down a little bit towards the negative y-axis so we're gonna do that right now so control a move entities move it down slowly until it seems right okay, oh. okay move it down until it seems right that seems right almost let's go up a little bit That seems okay 140 negative 140 and there we go we have our second profile now we have both the profiles to make the loft on the belly section and we'll be doing that on the fuselage okay so we take the fuselage and we need we need to make the loft from here to inside the belly so for that we have to create a plane over here first and we're gonna use the right plane as a reference uh, we're gonna use the right plane uh, it does it should not be uh, right on the mark it should be a little bit forward when compared to the uh, edge of the belly so uh, let's say let's do 4000 that seems pretty okay and the reason why I'm doing this is because if I am right on the belly I I won't be able to put a fillet on there and the fillet kind of makes it a bit more beautiful that's why I'm doing this so we have a plane on there and from the previous uh, previous sketch and the model we know that the pla the this plane and this plane are thousand millimeters apart so we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna make another plane it's reference to this plane just thousand millimeters away but not in this direction in this direction so we flip it we put the plane on there and now we just have to transfer the sketches from the previous uh, model to this model so we just sketch on there and we're gonna copy and paste the sketch from here onto the other one so I just exit this one so this is the no, that this is the primary sketch control that that is the main uh, sketch of the base of the wing 
so we just paste it there sometimes it becomes inverted so it is uh, in the opposite direction we can just mirror that that's all it so control control a and mirror we got that and delete the rest delete that so there we go and now we're gonna move that so just take one point use from to take one point and position the wing wherever you want usually you can find a specific spot on the images of the aircraft but here I'm just gonna show you the basic step how it's done so I'm just gonna place that somewhere over there uh, I guess that's good and now we have our first sketch copied onto the belly fuselage so we can just hide that plane over there and now we are ready to do the second sketch so just like the, uh, the uh, just like this sketch we did we are just gonna transfer this second sketch into our fuselage file Control C and then we paste it there. Again, it is inverted. And the other thing is, we know that in this in this model, we have made this sketch thousand millimeters apart from the parent sketch. But also, it is 140 millimeters below the pre previous sketch. So we have to do that in the other model too. So we know that this whole section and this whole section are pretty much the same. So we can use this for this point here, like this bottom point here, to reference it. 140 millimeters downwards so just take a center line use that point put a 140 millimeters on there and then just copy this whole thing new entities select this point because we are referencing the bottom point of that spline and then put it on there so we have the sketch which is 1000 millimeters apart in the, la in the lateral direction and 140 millimeters below in the vertical direction. So we have that sketches for the loft and now we're just going to loft it. And you can see that when we loft it only a little portion of that is going to be visible outside and that's all we need. There you go. Loft is complete. So you can see only a very little portion of the loft is visible outside. And the reason why I protruded it, protruded this this much outside is that so that because I can put a fillet on there. So I'm just gonna throw a fillet there. Oh, well, that is 10 millimeters. We can go a little bit more. We can go about. So there we go, I've already made the fillet on there and that looks a bit more even towards the trailing edge and there's not much of a fillet on the leading edge because when we look from the top it is pretty much falling, falling in tune with the belly. So the next thing is save this file, close it and we, know we don't need these sketches anymore so we can just delete those so now we have the wing and the belly section ready to be mated so close that and open a new assembly open the assembly and to import files you can just click insert components browse the component fuselage open it there we go we have the fuselage inside and then 
bring the wing inside as well. So now we have to do some mates. So when we get the mates, click on the mates. At first we have to make this plane and this plane coincident. So we have to click on that, click on that, and SolidWorks uh, does most of the mates on its own, so we don't have to specify anything. It identifies the simple simplest mate and it just puts it on. And then we have to made some lines so that this wing can be mated perfectly so we have a straight line there so we select that and there is another line there and these two lines can be mated so we're going to mate that and again we have a coincident mate over there so the wing is now parallel or collinear when it comes to these two lines so it's pretty much on the same plane uh, with respect to the top plane so we have that and the other thing we can do is to make this uh, this wing completely mated with the loft here we have the same curvature here and the same curvature here so we can select those two and there you go the wing is perfectly mated with the loft and put it on the section of the aircraft and there you go that's how you do the mating and as you can see here, there's a little bit of uh, uh, not coinciding. The planes are not coinciding a little bit over there. And the reason for this is because I did not use the top guide curves. Like, this is just a slope, a constant angle over there, over on the, on the top and at the bottom. Whereas the curve of the wing is kind of like it's it's a parabolic curve, so we need if if you can you can extend that curve downwards so that you have a e much more even loft and use that those guide curves for this loft that we did and that that'll give you a much more even finish to this. But this this is pretty much the uh, the way we do a loft and a mates on this on this uh, this particular model here so that's how you made the wings onto the belly section and this is pretty much the, uh, the way we do all the mates on this except for the vertical stabilizers and the horizontal stabs I built in uh, on the fuselage it was built on the fuselage and not mated but if it were to be mated uh, I think I would use the same method method over here so that's all guys thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos please do comment uh, on it and share share all your thoughts with me see ya guys thanks